Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I just got done with my work for the day and I have a bit of time before I have to run to the post office. So I figured I would show you all my progress so far with my sewing room and my new house. I did move in early March and I still don't have it the way that I want it set up, but it's functional. I use it every day. So I figured I would show you everything. And I did have someone request this video, so this one is for you. Okay, so to start, I really love the layout of my house. Um, this is my daughter's room, her bathroom, and then we go into my sewing room over here. Um, you can see a bunch of stuff is going on already in there, but let's get right into it. So on this side is where I have all the things that I'm currently working on, things are either cut or they're already sewn, but everything is separated by style and size right here. If you watch my recent video, I explain more of how I do that. And I just have my label printer and my laptop. <laughs> my poor laptop, um, I broke it and it gets a lot of use, so I might need a new one soon. But yeah, so far this is all I have. Uh, as far as my organizers, I do have another one like this, like a cube organizer that I need to bring over for this stuff because I have some packaging materials right here. And then in the bottom one, I just have elastics and things like that. So now over here, this has been the bane of my existence. Oh my gosh. This is an industrial machine that I got like literally like as soon as I moved. But it's so hard to install. Well, it's not hard. It's just um, tedious and things have to be a particular way. I even hired like three men who came in and looked at it and they were like, we can't do it. So once I get this done, I will be so happy, but I'm still working on it. This is an industrial serger. And I have this here that I really want to hang up. It looks like this. I made it on Canva and then I got it printed through Trendy Fabrics. It's just a yard of double brush poly. I think I should have done scuba so it would be like more uh, more structured, but that's okay. I'm going to hang it up over here I'm thinking about. Um, and then I do want this uh, serger to stay there once it's all set up. Over here we have my daughter's little chilling corner. She can come in here and, you know, sit with me while I'm sewing. But I do want to move that little couch and move it into her room and then bring myself like an egg chair or something that she can still use but then I can use as well because that's too small for me and I just have my tripod and stuff and then over here is my desk um this desk I got from Amazon and I'll link as much things as I can in my Amazon storefront but so far this is how I have it set up yes it has a lot of stuff but a lot of this stuff is stuff that I use and need you know so over here we have uh, my cutting mat. I desperately need a new one, but this is just a cutting mat that I use whenever I'm cutting binding or elastic, just some last minute things that I might need that aren't already cut with the main fabric. I like to just cut it here. I have a little binding tool because I was binding earlier. And then here I just have miscellaneous things that I don't have a place for, but I might need one day, you know, this little hoarding thing. <laughs> And then here is my packaging materials that I need on hand. So I literally just pick this up and start packaging. Here are some full bobbins. Um, if you've never had full bobbins, I highly recommend them. Like they're already pre-wound and so perfect. And then I just have my lubrication oil. You gotta lubricate your sewing machines if you didn't know. And then, and then here's where I keep my poly mailers and my little bags. I never know what to call these. I know they're like frosted bags, but I don't know if there's like an official term. And then just some paper and some other poly mailers in, in case I ever run out of these. But I love this little station because I just grab and go and, you know, grab and package. And then that's why I like this open space right here. Because I literally just lay all the poly mailers out with the labels and package. So then here are my most used sewing machines. I have my Juki Serger. I'm going to convert this into like a rolled hem serger once my industrial is done. But for now I use her all the time and then I have my brother cover stitch so I just like to have him here I'm going to change my chair to like a rolling chair because I've noticed that when I'm going back and forth you know it's not as easy and then over here is my most used items things that I need you know every day that I reach for so I just keep them all right here for easy access and then then the sun's kind of coming in but I have labels here different kinds I have like these printer ones and then like the label printer specific ones and then I have needles in here some gum some little sewing thread uh, my printer paper for printing out patterns 
and then just some miscellaneous things in here that I like organizing and then of course my pin cushion and then in this corner I just have patterns that I don't know where to put them they're like not my most used so I just have them in this box for in case I ever feel like you know digging around in there and then this I use for my phone because when I'm sewing I like to watch things I've been really into TikTok lives and YouTube and Netflix you know and, and they can just be like right in my face as I'm sewing so I really like that and then here is my packages that I finished. Like I said, I finished for the day, so I need to run these to the post office. And then here, this closet is the biggest mess right now. I have like these nice shelving racks that I left at my parents' house. So I want to bring those over and put them in here so that I can, you know, organize this a lot better. But the way that I organize this is in this column over here, I have fabrics that uh, were for my current drop. I always like, like to do like current drop and then miscellaneous and then future drops. Like that's how I like to organize my fabric. But for now, like this was like my last drop and then that's fabric that's left over. This is all like miscellaneous fabric in there. That is fabric that I'm planning drops for. This is all ready to ship items that I've just been accumulating and then some random mesh fabric. So again, I really want to organize this a lot better for when I bring my racks in. But for now, that is it. And here is the little overview again. I definitely want to get, you know, like some more cute things to decorate once everything is finished up. But yeah, for the most part, here is what we have so far. So yeah, just a really quick video today. And again, I'm going to link as many things as possible in my Amazon storefront for you all. So you can, get, you know, quickly get them, snatch them up there. But yeah, now we're gonna run to the post office and then get some food and then figure out what to do for the rest of the- Yeah, <laughs> you can hear my daughter in the background. She loves this part. We always finish the day with, you know, going out and doing stuff because we've been, you know, just inside all day while I worked. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run to the post office and then I'm actually going to make like a day in the life type of video. Someone asked me, you know, to show kind of how I balance, you know, taking care of my daughter while I'm working and running this business and everything like that. So that video will be coming next. And if you have any other requests, do let me know. I'm super into making new videos. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I've been like almost doing them daily. But yeah, so any requests, I have plenty of time now, so please. Request them and I'll do them as soon as possible. But until then, catch y'all in the next video.